Though the U.S. Army was initially interested in the Vertol 107, which became the CH-46C Knight, in 1959 it finally picked a much bigger project, under development since 1956. The prototype Boeing Vertol Model 114 Chinook flew on September 21, 1961, and since then over 1160 have been built, including 136 from Augusta, Meridionale, in Italy and 54 by Kawasaki in Japan, CH-47J. The original CH-47A reached the U.S. Army in December 1962, and Vertol built 349 before delivering 108 CH-47BS with more powerful engines, followed by 233 CH-47CS with three 750 shop, 2,798 kilowatts engines, increased fuel and, as a retrofit, fiberglass blades and blade inspection systems. Boeing and Meridianale have sold Chinooks all over the world, export models including the Canadian CH-147 and RAF Chinook HC MK-1. The HC MK-1 was delivered with two cargo hooks, one rated at 9,000 kg and the other at 11,300 kg, and comprehensive NAV slash COM avionics. Between 1982 and 1998 over 480 of the U.S. Army's Chinooks were remanufactured to CH-47D standard with greatly enhanced capability, the RAF has also upgraded 32 of its surviving Chinooks to this standard as Chinook HC MK-2s and also received a further 8 new build HC MK-2s, as well as 9 HC MK-3s, which are similar to the U.S. Army's MH-47 E Special Missions helicopter. The MH-47 is fitted with terrain-following radar, additional fuel tanks, in-flight refueling probe and a number of defensive modifications for operation behind enemy lines. Other nations operating Chinook in CH-47D International Chinook and CH-47SD Super D forms for export. The CH-47F is the latest version. Existing CH-47D helicopters can be upgraded to this standard, or these can be newly produced. This version can carry up to 55 passengers. The CH-47F is used by the U.S. Army and has been exported to some countries. Even though the CH-47F is still in production, Boeing is already looking for a future enhancements. It is planned that between 2020 and 2025 helicopters will be fitted with more powerful engines, new rotor blades derived from the cancelled RH-66 Comanche, will have a strengthened airframe and will be capable to carry more payload. The planned future versions are nominally referred as CH-47G and CH-47H. These helicopters are planned to remain operational with the U.S. Army beyond 2060, or over 100 years after the Type 1st entered service.